So Paul, why are we back in this Hyundai? Now I loved it, we had that group test, I really enjoyed it, we we're all keen on it, but why are we back driving it again? We did enjoy it. In fact, the popularity vote, this came out pretty much on top, I it think. Did, it did. Did very well. And then I went to Grand Canaria and I tested the i30 fastback. Yes, 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 yes. You went to Grand Canaria and my invitation was where? Well, it got lost in the post, but, but speaking of invitations, we got an invitation right here, right now, to take this very car to Nürburgring in 24 hour. There's some stuff. That's your bag in the back, isn't well, it? I was going to say, is that what you told me to pack for a few it's days? I always <laughs> love your magical mystery tour. So, so uh, we're going in this hydra to where? To the Nürburgring. The in Nürburgring. Nürburgring 24 hour race, the very famous 24 hour race. And Brilliant. Hyundai want us to experience it like a true fan. Fantastic. I've, I haven't been to that event. I've done a lot more, obviously, but uh, the 24 hour race. But obviously, it's full corporate expo. We'll be in what nice, that, that nice hotel that's on the start finish straight, yes? <laughs> well, that's the one thing. Because they want us to experience it like a fan. Right. They want us to go camping. Paul. Well, I, I don't I don't do camping, Paul. <laughs> you are such a snob, but I'm so glad you said that because neither do I. <laughs> My back would be in pieces if I went camping. I got an idea. Pull in pull in here on the left, next to the cameraman. Alright lads? Come on. Yeah. Come on. We should probably introduce ourselves because they don't know who we are. We're normally behind the cameras. That's a good point. Uh, hi guys, I'm Nick. Uh, I'm Tom, and we'll be your stand-in Tiff and Paul, Paul and Tiff, for the video. Uh, what do they normally do? Tiff normally talks about the steering wheel. Yes, yes, this, this one's round, so he'd be happy with that. Yeah. Um, okay. It's going to be a good video, this. Give them a chance, they're still new to this. After crossing the channel and driving a few hours across France, they arrived at Hyundai's overnight stop. But it wasn't as rough and ready as I'd expected. This is rather nice. This is a funny looking campsite. Here we have my tent for the evening. Yeah, not bad, I'd say. So, day two. We're on our way to the Nürburgring now. We've got a uh, full tank of fuel. And yeah, it looks like some nice roads ahead of us as well. So let's pop this into uh, the end sport mode and see what it can do. Straight away, the, the level of grip is actually pretty phenomenal. As long as you're in on the throttle, it's, yeah, it's got a lot of traction that really pulls you through the corners. It's just amazing what you can do with front wheel drive cars nowadays. Can, can I not have a go? Well, uh, there are definitely faster hot hatches out there which will do quicker lap times, but are they any more fun? That's one, you know, really good point, but it is the actual enjoyment and the fun. That cloud going up. Yeah, you can really notice the, uh, the throttle response uh, change when you pop it into the end mode. Those crackles on the upshifts and the downshifts, you know, it really gives a, a good sense of character from the car. Really good stretch of road, this, isn't it? It's a lovely bit of road. Um, can, can I not have another go? Uh, this car isn't taking itself too seriously. It's not overly concerned with lap times and Nürburgring records. It's concerned with putting a smile on your face and that's a bit dirty. After their slightly more enthusiastic attempt at presenting, they arrived at the Nürburgring and their accommodation for the weekend. Look, I thought they were supposed to be camping. That is camping. They're in tents. It's not. Look, they've got beds. Anyway, back at the track, the crowds had begun to arrive and preparation was well and truly underway for the 24-hour race at what has to be described as the world's most unique racetrack. 
Oh, it's the most intensive track on the world. It's the longest track on the world. 160 cars on the grid, you never have this uh, on another place. It's one of the places where you need to be a specialist to be quick. The Nürburgring is called by Jackie Stewart back in the days, Green Hell. It is by far the most challenging and the most spectacular racetrack in the world. This is the place, this is the most challenging track. And uh, this is where you make good cars. The Nürburgring is kind of the cradle for the end cars. Of course, we started with WRC, but the link between the TCR car and the end car is very close. And last year we won the World Championship. So. I had the pleasure of, of driving many, many laps uh, here at the Nürburgring. It's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. When you come to Hohe Acht, then the fun starts. Wippermann, Eschbach, Brünchen, Pflanzgarten. Best roller coaster in the world. I would say this is a virus. If you uh, got it, you know, you, you have to come back here and, and, and to smell it and to see it. And this is a special feeling. I come to Nürburgring now for like 55 years. I'm 62 now. Uh, my father, he came here every year, one or two times, just to watch racing yeah, in the 60s. And uh, I remember races like in 65, 64, I, I remember. And I was here as a race fan. A lot of spectators, really nice spectators. It's really nice to drive through the fans at uh, Breitscheid or Flansgarten. I was there as a teenager, yeah, with my buddies and making campfires and drinking tons of beers. And as soon as I had my driving license, I, I come here with my own car. And before I was washing my brother's car for weeks, that he takes me to the Nürburgring race, right? In many ways, it seems the race is almost secondary to the partying that takes place throughout the weekend, especially within the vast wooded sections of track where race fans build weird and wonderful structures from makeshift watchtowers to dance floors. In the night, when the cars come and they have the heavy braking zone and you see the brake disc glowing, you know, that is quite impressive. The 24-hour Nürburgring race is a brutal challenge for both drivers and cars. The infamous track takes no prisoners, but despite the difficulties, Hyundai always had a car in contention for a class win. Sadly, they narrowly missed out on a victory, but still came away with a respectable second place. is a uh, endurance race over 24 hours. If you finish the race, this means a lot. The racetrack capability, that brings the substance to a car. This is proof of the pudding to be here. That's why our brand said crystal clear, we have to be here, we have to go to the networking Notch Life and, and to uh, make it happen. We keep learning, of course. The learning never stops. The Nürburgring always gives you new challenges. 